What's going on everybody? This is Al from Instabay 6 Revival. And in the last video we had our biggest win of the season against Michigan State. An amazing game. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It was a ton of fun. Humongous win for us. That gets us to five wins on the season. We just need one more to be bowl eligible. Looking at the rest of the schedule, we got Minnesota, Michigan, and Purdue. Minnesota, who's who we're playing today, is by far the biggest game of the season. They're three and five. Hopefully, they're beatable. On top of that, we got some recruiters or some visitors coming, some prospects, and hopefully, we can get a commitment or two out of them. So today, we're going to take on the Gophers. We'll look at their stats real quick. Yeah, they got one of the best rushing attacks in the country, and that's what I was afraid of. We're going to do our best to try to stop that. And they're B-plus overall, just a lot of talent. It's going to be difficult. Before we play them, let's go to in-season recruiting. Now, last week, we got our first commitment of the dynasty with Ron Bush, in-state wide receiver, four-star. He'll start right away and contribute immediately. We got four guys left. Looks like uh, Ronald Smith. Let's see. Coaching style, academics, Ohio. I'm going to just do playing time. He definitely doesn't like the program prestige. Coaching style, academics. We'll just do playing time. Just looking at the, I mean, program prestige is his biggest thing. That's what he cares about with Michigan and Ohio State. But we'll do playing time. Maybe that will help. Alex Rogers, the tackle. Location, uh, education. We'll just do playing time here. Drew Brooks, middle linebacker. Let's see. Uh, style of play, program prestige, location, and coach. So we'll just do playing time again. And Cole Logan is still not ready to take a visit yet. So we got three guys coming in, a corner, a tackle, and a middle linebacker. Would love to get at least one of the three. Before we play Minnesota, let's go to Sports Illustrated. And let's just check, see what's happening throughout the country. Look at the bowl rankings. USC, Florida, Tennessee, Ohio State, LSU, so on and so forth. Top 25 polls are kind of meaningless at this point. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Matt Leinart is still lining it up. Big Kelvin Johnson, Vince Young. That wide receiver from Pitt. And uh, Reggie Ball from Georgia Tech. So it looks like Georgia Tech is having a really good season. All right, semifinalists for the awards. Surely we're up for a few of these. Maxwell Award. Graham McFarlane, he's in eighth place. 28 touchdowns. Almost 3,000 yards. So that's about right. You take however many yards you have and you uh, divide it by 100, and that's what you're going to get. So he'll probably end up with over four, maybe, I don't know, 4,500 yards. Probably end up with about 45 touchdowns. They got three games left, 17. That may be a little too much. I don't know. He's, he's still going to put up great numbers. Let's see. We'll go to the Big Narek Award, see if we got anybody on there. I doubt it. Quarterback, fourth place. Just look at these other guys. 38 touchdowns for Matt Leinart already. That's insane. Vince Young, 27 total touchdowns, 33, or 29 total touchdowns for Bruce Gradkowski. And there we are in fourth place. As long as McFarland stays healthy, I think he could be a finalist here. Wouldn't that be something to be with Matt Leinart or Vince Young for this award? The Walker Award. Unfortunately, Washington will not be on there. Wide receiver, Gilmore, I figure he'd be up there. 14 touchdowns already, right up there with Kelvin Johnson. Both have the identical numbers, except Gilmore has a lot more receptions. Again, just stay healthy, and maybe he can win it. Tight end, we're not going to have Sexton on there. He just doesn't get the ball enough. Offensive lineman, nope. Remington, nope. Lombardi, I don't think we'll have anybody on defense be on here. I was hoping uh, Killian may be on the linebacker list, but he's not. Thorpe, no. Groza, no. We don't kick enough. We don't punt enough. Return, Thigpen. 
Got two touchdowns. So right now he's in second place. That's pretty good. Making good use of him. Coach of the year. We're not going to be on there because we've had too many losses. But I'll get that award one day. Players of the week doesn't really matter. Conference standings, it doesn't matter. We're not going to win it this year. I'm curious to see who's kind of up there. Ohio State and Purdue and Michigan State, who we just beat. I'm curious. 278 total points on the season so far. Given up the least. Wow, Ohio State only 142. That's impressive with Iowa right there. Okay, let's play Minnesota. Man, it'd be great if we could win this game. Get a commitment or two. Become bowl eligible. All that if we just win. It's going to be tough. This will probably be the best rushing attack we'll face all season. This may be the first time we get somebody in trouble. Nope, not a one. I'll be. I'll have to check that discipline bar towards the end of the season to kind of gauge how many points I need to put into it in the off season. They got a tackle out. Lawrence Maroney is their top running back. They got two linebackers that are putting up good numbers. But they've lost some games, so hopefully there are some weaknesses somewhere on their defense that maybe we can exploit. We got a night game in Bloomington. I want the ball first. I want to set the tone early if I can. Now, Minnesota has some sweet uniforms. I like their color combination. Let's check out and see what they got. Quarterback-wise, they can't run, which is good. But here's their strength, Lawrence Maroney. And he's got some decent guys behind him. So it's going to be all him. He'll probably put up his 200 yards today, but we'll try to stop him. Good group of wide receivers. I don't know if they use them much. Big-time tight end. 96 overall, 78 speed. I'm sure he can catch. 82, yep. 88, 94, 98, 82, and the right tackle's out. So that may be a little weak on the right side. Defense, I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3. They go 87, 88, 92, and 91. So their defensive line is really good. 78, 88, and 78. So their linebackers aren't all that great. I mean, their middle linebacker's pretty good. He's a sophomore and he's a freshman. So their outside linebackers are just young. But they can run a little, though. Corners, 86 and 74, 72. Here's where they really drop off. So maybe I can spread them out some more, force them to play their third and fourth corners. 86, a free safety, not bad. And 87, a strong safety, not bad. So their corners and their outside linebackers are, I guess, their weakness. Not much at the special teams. Okay, that kind of gives me an idea. Minnesota has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready. Let's see if we can pull off again an upset. Here, and they'll be returning this one. Let's see if Thick Pink can number two field make some two. magic happen. Oh, nobody blocked the kid. Okay. Let's go here. Let's just do a PE read start off. They're going man and they're bringing that nickel. And they're going dime. That's what I want to see. I want their weakness out there. Really have to tailor their game plan. Oh, I'll run it. Yeah. Oh, ah, go, baby, go, baby. <laughs> Please, no flag. Wow. Atta boy, Washington. He somehow stayed in bounds. We'll have to... I gotta check this out again. Right here. Wow, I stayed in bounds. Look at this. Get off me, son. Wow. Well, that's a good start to the game. I didn't check the wind. Let's we'll see what the wind is doing. It should say on here. Just five miles, okay. No big deal, standing in. Okay, all righty, <laughs> seven to nothing. That's why I like to get the ball first, I like to set the tone early. Now here's the big crux, can we stop their running game? We're about to find out, just gonna do a lot of one high, keep eight guys in the box at all times. I'm pretty sure 
They run a lot of 12 and 21 personnel. Yeah, that's what I figured. So let's just do a lot of nickel. The Gophers come out in a two tight end set. Let's do that. Good stop. We'll take it. Gained a yard, maybe. We're going to go. Okay, they're going to go one wide receiver. Probably coming up here. Ball on their own 22. The Golden Gopher line up in an I formation. Keep him in. Nice play fake. Ooh, good play. First down. That wasn't even into their main tight end either. That's just a one on one situation there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. Minnesota sets up in the eye. Shake and bake move. What it's going to take two people to, ta to bring him down, that's for sure. Oh, uh, it's... I thought I had another one high somewhere. Maybe I don't. That's a spy. I don't need a spy. Don't need a double team of receiver. We'll just stick with Dog Gold. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 36. Let's see what they got going on here. Single set backfield. Drops back to back. Interception. <laughs> we'll take it. Take it to the house, Jones. Touchdown. Big boy. Wow. That, that helps. I was a free safety, so I was just kind of making sure nothing was happening on the back end. And, wow, he just picked it off. Okay, great start. Great start. Let's just get back on defense and maybe do it again. Fourteen points. Well, got to get this extra point first. 14 points and, and not one passing yard. Who to thunk it? Indiana, 14, Minnesota, Get back on D, run some more one high. I wish you could double team the halfback in the backfield, but they really won't let you. You can only double team receivers. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. All right, and let's see what they're going to do here. High formation here. Now we get to run a little under front. Good stop. Just hit him as many times as you can until he can go down. Uh, three wide again. Uh, I'm going to stick with nickel. Second and nine. Want a little extra beef up there. Number three with three wide receivers. Good. It took two guys to bring him down. So now it's third. It's third and six. I'm thinking we'll just do cloud for now. I'm pretty sure they'll throw it. Maybe we can get to the quarterback pretty quick. That ain't good. It's not good at all. That's just that's one on one coverage. That's one way to beat any type of zone. You said it. That is a big time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass for So we'll go back and run one high. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Minnesota comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Minnesota. Goes That's the ace bunch. Going draw. That's a solid 10 yards. That'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. I haven't had to flip my play yet. All the strength has been on the right side. Crap. That was easy. And that's what I was afraid of. They're going to have a few of those today. Let's just look at that blocking. That's just perfect blocking everywhere. I mean, when the, one of their linemen ends up 10 yards past the line of scrimmage, you know they're blocking like they're supposed to. And he tacks on the extra point. Over two minutes remaining in the first So the biggest quarter. thing we can hope for is to just try to slow them down as best we can, and hopefully their quarterback can make a mistake or two, which he's already done that once. This is right down the middle of the field. 
I'll just take a knee. In the end zone. And we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog Let's go up here. Let's just do a screen off the right up the gate. Get the score. We'll just bounce this to again. Clinchman. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Got it to the seat. Fumble. No! Dang it, that's not what we needed. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's just keep playing. Go back to one high. And this kid is a complete quarterback. He's played the position with poise and has produced more yardage this year than any other quarterback in school. Here's the action. Now he pitches it. Here he goes. Wow. That was an easy play. Look out, man. Okay, now let's uh, do another one high. I can't go zone. I just think they're going to just buzz me hard on the zone. Russell is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Play action. Wide open. Wow. Oh, thank the Lord he overthrew it. He was wide open. Third and inches. Now we'll just stick to the nickel. It's third and inches. Ball of the 15. The Gophers come to the line with their jumbo package. Oh, yeah! Killian! Oh, great play. Kick a field goal. Please kick a field goal. Oh, that wasn't Killian. Oh, they're going for it. It figures. We'll just do one high. I'm afraid they'll do like a play action. And the impact tight end is hoping to get the ball in his hands. There's a missed tackle. Just too easy for him. He's just too talented. No, oh, uh, we tried. That stupid fumble. Turnovers, turnovers. Well, just like that, they tied it up, and now I got a guy hurt. So that went south really quick. It don't take much. So I'm going to have to just run clock as best I can to keep their offense off the field and he hits the to not have stupid fumbles. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. The score is Minnesota 14, Indiana 14. Minnesota to kick. Back to 0-0. Kicks it off. This is going to Gilmore. Gilmore fields it at the three. It's a good play, get it to 35. Let's go. Let's do halfback out. Seven weeks. Wow. He's out for the season. So who was that, a defensive tackle? My best defensive tackle is out. And I got nobody red shirting either, so I just have nothing there. Does that mean I'm going to have to run like a 3-3-5? I can't run a 3-4, don't have the linebackers. It's just my defensive tackles are going to be, dang it. Just turn, injuries have killed me all season. The Hoosier set up in the gun. McFarland drops back on first down. He's going left. Come on, Gilmore, you got to catch those. That's an easy catch. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that, that wasn't my fault, Kirk. All right, catch. they're going man. One step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. A great Doing that. Catch anything. The Hoosier. Oh, safety's coming up. He lets it go deep down the middle. And he dropped it again. What's the deal, Gilmore? It shouldn't be that hard. Because, man, they could get hurt. Okay, let's do counter strike. We're going zone. This will more than likely go to Gilmore. The Hoosier set up in the gun. Drop back to pass. Looks across the middle. And he catches that one. <laughs> By far the hardest of the three. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Uh, let's do a screen. It's first and ten. Just run clock. We're going zone. So. Indiana comes out in the shotgun. Got to keep the ball away from Maroney as much as possible, because he's going to put up about 300 yards today. 
And they make the stop. They pick up at the we'll play there. On the screen play. Let's go. Uh, let's do wide receiver in. Second and six. Or going here. man. This is the fifth play of this drive. This will go to Clinchman or Gilmore. The only the downside to this play is your main man beater is going across the middle, which is kind of risky, depending on what the linebackers do, but both safeties are coming up. Across the middle. Got it. Big play by Gilmore. We'll take it. As long as he catches the ball, he's great, you know. Well, I don't blame him. It's a common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. We'll do another screen. I'm going to hurry. Yeah, they're going zone. They're going goal line. There we go. Easy touchdown there, finally. Okay. So we got the lead back. That was a good drive. Clinchman didn't fumble it. They went goal line, so there was way too much room on that right side. So, And Washington didn't even get to touch the ball there. Of course, he had his big run at the beginning of the game. So that's the end of the quarter. 21 to 14, a lot of points in that quarter. Maybe a high-scoring game. But I'm going to try to run as much clock as possible. So I doubt we'll have see that many points in a quarter today. Not the best kick. But he'll take a knee, so it ended up being a good kick. Well, we got a full crowd. That's good. That big win over Michigan State helped that, I guess. They'll get the ball here at the 20. The Hoosiers bring in the nickel package. Good. Good defense. We'll take it. Second and 12-ish. I'm going to, I am not going to go. Let's do quarters. They're behind the yards, so I can see them possibly going pass. Nope. Uh oh, he gone. Well, got to go back to man. That was too easy. <laughs> He's going to have 400 yards today. It's going to be bad. <laughs> we can just have that about two out of four plays. That'd be great. I'm going to stick with the same play. I like having Killian on the blitz on, their own on the war path. Get Lumpkin over to the middle of the field a little bit more. He got tipped, almost got sacked. So here's what we want. Third and long. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's do Cloud again. If they convert on this, we may have to switch it up. They line up in a double tight set. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Going deep. Oh, good defense. Ow. Oh, good defense. That was scary. I had to take him over. I just did not trust him. Okay, so punt the ball. Okay, that guy got way too wide open. My front four is not good enough to rush by themselves, which means I need to do more man and probably throw a blitz. I got to get that quarterback to throw a little bit quicker. Just don't fumble it. So I think I know what I'm going to do on third down just because my front four is just not going to be able to handle it. So, okay. That gives me an idea of what to do. Let's go here. Let's do tight end corner. We're going zone, so I'm going to bounce this out to more than likely Taylor. Indiana lines up in a pro set. They'll throw on first down. Short talk. Pick up four. Short Not a whole lot. They get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond down the field. Let's go. Uh, let's do RB deep. Second and six. We're going zone, so this is going to go to Bailey. Hopefully, he can make something out of this. They line up in the shotgun. If I can get in like a third and three, third and four range, then I can go back to halfback out and let have either Washington or Gilmore try to get the first down. Back to back. Look, throw. And he's got the freshman. 
first down. The defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. Third and inches. I figured he would do that. I don't trust the run game. I don't trust my offensive line to stop him. So we'll just do a basic halfback out and give it to Washington. Clock is stops. So we'll go ahead and snap it. Short talk. There we go. Just don't fun, but good play by Washington. Now, um, let's do zig outs. We're going zone. I'll play it safe and just give this to Turner. But that clock run, I'd love to use the rest of this clock, get down the field and score at halftime. With a lead of two scores. We're going to try to do that. Threw it behind him. Don't see that too often. Okay, I want to run a little clock, so let's do a halfback direct. They're going man dime. I'm okay with that. This is the fifth play of this drive. They're not doing any hard shifting, so that Indiana in a four wide set. Left. Pick up some yardage. Third and four. Uh, oh, we'll do curls. We're going man. This will go to Gilmore or Washington. First time on this drive. They line up in the shotgun. He dropped back. Looks. Wants to throw outside. And he dropped it. Dang it! He dropped it, Gilmore. <laughs> oh, I gotta punt it. I just don't. I have to punt it. That's three drops by Gilmore today. Number 44, hunts it, and it's a good one. Maroney signals for a fair catch. That's going to go in the end zone, but at least he's not going to return it. Well, that stinks. That's three drops by Gilmore. What's the deal? Before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them. I love that. Do you hear that? Let's go, Hoosiers. I'd rather have my other safety on Maroney and not Lumpkin. I don't trust Lumpkin to keep up with him. Sack! Tackle! I don't know what that was, but that was all over. I'm not going to do anything with that clock. Let it run. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're going to run the same play. And they're going to call a timeout. So now I'm curious to see... I think they're going to start throwing. So let's throw a little blitz at him, a little zone blitz. Maybe we can get to the quarterback real quick. And they're doing that. Ramp. That's a good play call. Just like that, Fred, and bam. The guy's got one. And we got to go back to one high. Third and two. Maybe we can get lucky and they won't convert this. The Gophers come to the line with their jumbo package. We'll take it. Okay, we'll call timeout. That gives us a minute and a half to do something. Get the ball back, try to score, and go up two scores. Oh, big play by Killian, though. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it. All right, thick pin. Let's do Number that. Bring this over. Just don't fumble it. Okay. And now, a slight break now I want to go here. The field for their next Let's do a PA read. Go to work the We're going zone dime, so I'll just toss this to Washington. Let him have the ball. The Hoosiers come out the shotgun. Throws it out there. Complete. Spins ah. up field. And a 15. Uh, Let's do halfback circle. Just go ahead and do that. They're going man, 4-3. Right Let's see what they do here. Going one high. Uh-oh. Dang it. He got caught up there. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to call the timeout yet. Let's go. Let's do shriek. We're going man on this one. So this will probably go to Gilmore or Washington. The Hoosiers set up in the oh, gun. High. Drops to throw. Throws Make a play, Gilmore. Ah! And we got out of bounds. Don't have to waste a timeout. Good deal. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to go back to circle. 
We're going zone here. Got to be extra careful. Too high. I think I room over here. Bailey with the play. Oh, Bailey. I love it. What a catch. I was not expecting him to make that catch. Let's do a screen real quick. We're going zone. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. I snap. That's not what I wanted. And that happened. Okay. Uh, we'll do halfback out, and if this doesn't work, I'll call a timeout. I still got two timeouts, so. Not too worried about that. Just get out of bounds. Uh, I'm on the five. Let's go. We'll do fullback seam. Right, the Hoosiers. Come We're going shotgun. zone here. How many timeouts do I got? I got two. So if this doesn't work, I can kick a field goal. This was going to go to Sexton. Touchdown. Big play. Good deal. All right, now we got up two scores. Kick the extra point. Try to survive these last eight seconds. And then go to half with a good lead. But they get the ball started the second half, but I am more than satisfied being up two scores at halftime. The, the, the passing game is going pretty well. And remember the good folks at as long as Gilmore can bring in the catches, you know. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This is going to go not to Maroney, thankfully. Good stop. Okay, six seconds. Just keep everything in front of us. I wish they would just take a knee, but they're not going to. They'll run it. Fullback dive. I'm perfectly okay with that. Let him have it. All right, good deal. 28-14 at half. We'll check the stats here. Go here. I want to go to individual. 15 of 19. I think three of those were incompletions or uh, drops. Two touchdowns, no picks. Only 142 yards. Receiving or rushing. Washington had that one big play. Receiving uh, four, five, six, seven. Got seven guys that got the touch the ball already. That's pretty neat. Not bad for one half. Gilmore, Washington, Clinchman. That's a good, that's kind of where I want it to be. All right. Let's get back on defense. Indiana will be kicking off. Keep running some more one high. It's working pretty well so far. I'm sure Maroney's already got 100 yards, but Russell fields it in the end zone. We can keep it under 400. That'd be great. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25. Just go here. They shift on their defensive front. Good stop. Killian with the tackle. Killian's already had a great game. I'm going to stick with Killian on the blitz. I'm not going to do the corner. Run a lot of 12 personnel today. There we go. Good stop. Now it's third and five ish. I'm gonna go man here. I do not I do not trust them throwing. I think they're gonna run it. If I was them, I would run it. This is when the impact player at tight end can make play. I'll throw it. And he drops it. Good deal. Punt the ball. The quarterback is playing awful. It didn't have to the receiver drop the ball either, so that, I guess that's not the quarterback's fault. They still were going to get a first down there unless, I don't know, I mean, like gonna punt it away here. my corner or my defender would have to fall down and him to Number pick up that first. It and it's a good oh, that's a punt and a half. Let's go get a block right there on that kid. Nope, ain't going to get to the sideline. And now a slight Avoid a turnover. As the offense comes out okay, the field for let me think. Possession. Let's go. Uh, let's
Let's do clear out. We haven't called clear out in a long time. We're going zone here. Start the second half, and I think we all know why. Are you kidding me? Let's just see what they do. Everyone who's at home watching this game knows why they're winning the running game. The running game. Intercepted. That's a disaster. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Oh well. Oh well. Well, I couldn't tell you who's on the cover of the media guy. He just tipped it and took it to the house. This young man is going to be the reason they win this football game. Oh man. Giving him the ball and he'll pick up the yards while the clock runs out. Okay, we got to get back on offense. Four minutes remaining here in the third quarter and the score. Indiana. That's why you want to lead in those situations so you still have something to work off of. Gilmore and number two. Another reason why you want tall quarterbacks to avoid situations like that. Start from let's. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Let's go. Let's do wide receiver under. We're going man. At the 20. This would probably go to Bailey or Clinchman, and he's coming up. Indiana comes out of the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Make a play, Clinchman. Drop. Dang it. Clinchman, you got to catch those. That was the right read. Both safeties coming up. We're going halfback to wreck. That right nickel is blitzing. So we'll run left. Pick up the first. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job. Now right let's go. Uh, yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running. Let's do slot when corner. Like that, you gotta give they're going, man, but they're going dimes. That's not going to work. I'm sure one of those corners is going to be on Taylor. Line up in a split back set. Back oh. and He's looking. Throw that away. He gets rid of this that's going to be a disaster. That yeah, that's one way to beat that he wanted to. Wow, play. He just avoided getting smacked on that one. Have somebody that far out wide to stop that. Right. Going ten. zone here. We'll just 35. do dump this to Washington. Four wide. He lines it left. Complete. He's hit and got away. Big opening. Who pick up eight yards? Brings him down. Two, third and two. Uh, I'm gonna do half back direct again. I it's third down. They're going two dime down. zone. As long drive. as we can block. Correctly, I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna leave that shotgun. clock go. I just want the ball in Washington or Gilmore's hands most of the time. Walk right there. Don't juke or do anything. Just get the first. Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let Let's go. In and ups is pretty good for a decent shallow. Screen, half back out. Uh, let's do half back out. Right now. We're going man. First I'm okay with that. All on the 45 yard line. With that clock run. He's coming down, so it's at least one high. So it's either going to Clinchman, unless that safety comes up, and therefore I go to Gilmore. Going one high. Intercepted. Ooh. Oh, intercepted. Dang it. Golly, we're going to lose this game if I – all these stupid turnovers. What a – two crazy interceptions there. Gosh, what was that? Well, if we lose, that's it's the turnovers. What a crazy interception. What a dive. You just never see that. They'll bring in their dime package. Play action. Looking. He rolls out to the left. Wants to throw. Wow. And he's finally knocked out How in the world did he catch that? Now they're going to score on this. Uh, they'll score. That's what happens off turnovers with the CPU. They just that's just what they do. So we just got to try our best to prevent that. But that's just how they operate. The Golden Gophers come out in a two tight end set. Going to ball. They'll bring him down. Second and six, second and seven. Maybe two yards. Stupid second turnovers. That was good coverage on that by that defender. I'll give him that. Good stop. Third and long. Now I feel like I need to go. One high. I just don't. They broke my zone twice. The Maybe I can get a blitz here. Hopefully they'll throw it. Back to pass. He throws it. And it's caught. Crap. He's into the open field. Gets 
Oh, we can. Oh, we stopped him, but I think they're going to go for it. Oh, they're going to field goal. It. I'm fine with that. Kick the field goal. Just give up three points off a turnover. I'm okay with that. Number 31 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. He gets it. Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. No, perfect kick. And it is good. So this quarter has been an utter disaster, yet we're still up by four. It's a, I don't know how, but we got to quit turning the ball over or we will lose. Number 31 is lined up to kick this one off. That halfback out play, I was fixed to get pressured or sacked. And that's the way I ain't going to convert on that. Down for a touchback. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. I'm going to go back to halfback to Rack. It's working pretty well. I just want to run some clock if possible. They're going zone here. At the 20 yard line. Shifting that way. Indiana. Michael And the snap goes to the back. Gets that one. Campbell with a takedown. If he won an impact guy, he wouldn't have made the play like that. Let's go halfback out. Going zone, so this will go to Washington. McFarland lines up in the shotgun. I know there's several plays I haven't been using. I'm just not thinking of them at the moment, but I had F back out on my mind. Just get this clock down. He runs back. He's looking. With the throw. Complete. And they make the stop. Oh, let's see. I may run that play again. Third and three. Let's just go ahead and do it again. It's third down. Surely Washington go. can pick Ball up this first. Seven yard line. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Hopefully he can get through all that mess and get open underneath. Ooh, I thought he was going to get out of bounds there before he crossed the first down marker. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's go. I have it on my mind, so I want to go tiny corner. We're going man. Ball on their own 35. Oh, the shot here. Sexton, just in case. Oh, Sexton's coming up. Make a play, Sexton. Ah! That a kid. Good catch. Both safeties were coming up. So that was a good idea to go with the hot route to the go. Now let's go. Let's go zig outs. We're going man here. So this will go to probably either Gilmore or Bailey. He's doing one high. If that other safety comes up, I'll try to give it to Gilmore in the end zone. Nope, we're going one high with it. Bailey, you got to catch those. He had a lot of room to work with, too. A lot of room. room, room, room. Okay, let's do a halfback direct from light trips. Hurry up to line before they shift hard. Yeah, shift that way. I'm okay with that. Block there. Block there. There he goes. Good play there. Push him out. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. There's right. flanker screen. They're going man. So I'm gonna let that clock run out. I'm in. okay with that. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. And that'll bring this quarter to an end, folks. We played three. Let's do that screen again. Now they're going zone. I'd rather than go 24. zone man here. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw. Touch here. Here. Good deal. All right. So we got some of those points back. Get up 11. Whew, what a game. It's intense. All these turnovers, they just make the game so much more interesting. All right, 11-point lead with five minutes to go. Can we somehow beat the Gophers, get that sixth win, and maybe get a commitment or two? Perfect kick. Please go Here's in the, the end zone. Game. Take a knee, Lawrence Maroney. Maroney feels it in the end zone. All right, we'll go back to one high. I fully expect them to continue to run it. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Minnesota lines up in a double back set. Here we go. 
Here we go. Whew, please, just take your 10 yards every time. I'm okay with that. Just don't get a quick score. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Gophers come out showing three wide. I didn't know they had a gun formation of their playbook. They've been under center all day, it seems. Going quarterback draw. We'll take it. He ain't going to make that play. Second and 10. I'm going to stick with that same play. Second and 10. I have no reason to change it. They shift on the defensive line. Again, he'll get the call. Spin move. That blocking was something else. Wow, did you see the blocking there? That's the that hole up the B gap. Oof. What a run to keep the change moving. Keep running that clock. I'm okay with that. It's as simple as that. Yep, there's no way a linebacker has any chance of catching this guy. Looks like my free safety's on the running back. Again with the carry. Ooh, good tackle. I think I was going to whiff on that tackle myself. He's the fastest player in the football field right now. You Let's sneak. Let's change it up a little bit. Blitz the corner. In a race. Mm. I would say one of those corners, but I don't think they could keep up with him either. Flags are all Off sides. Good job, defensive tackle. Off sides. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You Let's go back and run the dog goal. To pick up yards. First and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. Play action. He rolls out to the right. Long Good ball, touchdown. Right That's all he dropped it. Whoo! We got our drops. You can have your drops. <laughs> That's a good play call, though. I went over there. I should have double teamed him, and I didn't for whatever reason. I just want to pay attention to that go route. I probably could have picked that off, too, if I had double teamed him. That's okay. That's how you learn. The D line ships over. Throw it again. Just, I'm fine. That's okay. They pick up another first, guys. Great and now they're going to do that. Interesting. The they're getting very tired. Nickel defense. Sack! 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 That's what you get. The senior at linebacker is making his presence felt. Yes, he is. He was all uh, mm. well, Earlier in the week, Lee, he talked to us about how he's the vocal leader this defense. I'm gonna stick with Dog Gold. I want to put some type of pressure on because, as you can tell, my front four is not very good. This is the so we got so many injuries. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. He lets it go. That's a good throw. Oh run. gosh. And they make the stop. Nice to That's an easy way. Not That's the first time I think he's tested the ball today. But the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. He's Look at this. Look at that. Richardson. Somehow, some Put way. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. I got a get some extra fresh guys in there. I know they're going two wide receivers, but my nickel package is getting on the really tired. On the Even the now I got a backup line. strong safety in there. Handoff. Stop Race him. One. Somebody stop him, please. Dang it. Him down. And that one goes now I got backup eight, safeties eight, in there. You know, every time you run the ball, so what do you do, you know? That defense starts to creep Everybody's that's when you go to the air, my Tired. This has Over been the, the longest top. drive ever. They've got all the big boys in. Oh. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well executed. We're going to go for two. By the big guys, and then back takes it right in. I'll just go Listen, all out blitz. There's really no right or wrong answer here, to be honest. I don't know what they're going to do. I, if they're smart, I guess they'll run it, but. Stop him, stop him, stop him. Dang it. We was right on him, but he just broke the tackle. That's normally what he does. So now we're up three. So they're going to go onside kick. No, they're going to kick it like normal. So we could just get first downs. Maybe we can survive this thing. All those turnovers. Oh, that's a flag, flag. That's a face mask. Come on. Oh, really? Eight yard line. Well, wow. uh, let's run some clock if we can. They're going zone dime. 
Block there, stay in bounds. And down he goes. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Let's do a halfback out. That's our safest passing play. Should be safest. We'll just run this clock. Now watch me throw an interception here. Watch a bobble or something. And the impact receivers in the zone right now. Once I get over to the left side, I can run some PA read stuff. Let's get this clock going. Well, this is going to go to Gilmore. McFarland drops back on first down. Looking, throws it to the outside. Big play. He Gone. Six points. Down the sideline. He tried to go for the interception. It didn't work. It didn't work. Ah, Gilmore. Play of the game. Throw it as soon as he made his cut. And, yeah, he tried to go for the swat. That's what happens if you don't get the swat. You're going to get beat. So now there's still a ton of time left. They got the ball. So I, you'd think they're going to throw a lot, which means – I could get a little more exotic with my defense instead of just doing one high. Throw some, throw some zone blitz at him. Whatever it takes to get that quarterback throwing quick. Whew, so the offense has really played well today. Fresh run of the clock and have 42 points. That's not bad. Besides the turnovers. Yeah, my kicker with a block, with a tackle. Otherwise, that would have been six points. Okay. I'm going to do monster two, just so I can have a couple different guys on each side, depending on where they're going to go. So I'm going to have Blitz Schnezny. Good tackle in the open field. So they execute, move I'm afraid they're going to run it here. Because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Good tackle. Please don't do a no, another no huddle. Good. Uh, it's too cloud. Because I know they're going to throw. We just got to find a way to get to the quarterback. Touchdown. Wow. Wide open. Dang it. I should have went man. Should have went man there. Dang it. They're not going to go away, are they? They're not going to go away. They'll probably go halfback Rick here. No, they're going to throw it. That was easy. Right on target and goes for six. Man, that was so now they'll do an onside pass. kick. Left his hand <laughs> do they have all their timeouts left? They got two timeouts left. So what we need to do is I got to play a smart and just go half back to rag. That way we know. I don't trust any other run play. I could probably try. See, my weak, I like the, the run plays out of the weak normal are okay. Otherwise, I would just go under center and run and let them burn their timeouts. Here goes. Let they get out of bounds. We'll get the penalty. Get extra yardage. His errant kick has given the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. So, like, I could do an off tackle with Washington. I think that'll work. It's either going to be Washington or Taylor. It's going to be Washington. It's either going dime. That's like they know what I'm going to call. They're shifting that way, which is fine. Get a block there. Just don't fumble it. Call timeout. We're going to do offensive line because we need them to block more than anybody else. Second and six coming up here. Going zone nickel. Ooh, guess I will be shifting him. First down. With a Call timeout. Game over. Game over. I can take the beat, take the knee. Go victory formation. First and Whew, that's what that was. Smart play calling, I guess. Just run the ball and run clock and try to get a first down. We should just see the quarterback with the knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Huge win. 
program changing win right here. So now we may be able to get a commitment possibly out of this, but the biggest thing was we get our sixth win. We should be bowl eligible. With our schedule, we better go to a bowl, which means we get that extra game. Hopefully maybe we can win that. That gives us extra points to use in the offseason. Huge win, though. I would have blew him out if I didn't have those goofy turnovers. Oh, wow. Big, big win. So I got to think a minute. Let me think. Um, we got Michigan coming up. It's at Michigan. It's going to be a tough one. Then Purdue at home. I guess – Indiana, Purdue, they're the big rivals. I think in the Big Ten, that's what they like to do is and that's the end have the, the rivals play that last game, game of the season. That game of NCAA football 2006. Oh, what a game, what a game. Indiana, 42, Minnesota, 39. So McFarland didn't have the 21 of 30, just 286, four touchdowns, but those two picks, that's going to hurt his chances of on any of the awards. Washington, Gilmore, Clinchford. Yeah, I'm all good with that. Oh, my gosh, what a win. Yes. So now we'll stick around. Let's see if we can get a commitment or two. It'd be great because we can use those points on the remaining prospects that are left over because I'm sure there will be. Let's see what happens. Six and three. I was not expecting that with this gauntlet of a schedule. But getting wins over Michigan State and Minnesota sure helped. Three and three in the conference. Just wasn't expecting it. If we can just get at least one commitment so we can use his points somewhere else, that'd be great. I have a feeling that, I, I don't know, we'll see if any of them commit. Just hope for the best. Cross your fingers. We have three prospects visit. Surely we can get all three. <laughs> Woo, that's what you get when you win. Ronald Smith, four-star. Four-star tackle, Alex Rogers. Three-star, middle linebacker, Drew Brooks. Incredible. So what that means, we go over here. End season recruiting. USC got beat, by the way. End season recruiting. 75 points on the one remaining guy. It's going to go up to 100. 25 plus 75 gives you 100. So we're going to go all out for this kid. Take the visit at Purdue. Surely we can get him. Wouldn't that be an awesome recruiting call for the end season? We get all five of these guys. It's very possible. I was not expecting that. So recruiting is going swimmingly. Awesome. The perfect day, to be honest. The win, the recruits, the bowl eligibility, every bit of it. So come on back. We'll take on number 19 ranked Michigan. They're 6-3. We're 6-3. I'm ready to beat them. Come on back, and I'll talk to you later.